Good morning from Big Stony Creek. A little after six and just getting ready to hit the trail. Got everything all set and ready to go. Oh, it's cold this morning. It's in the mid 40s. I think it said 46 in the van. Chilly, chilly, chilly. That's why I got my raincoat on. <laughs> I'm gonna regret it probably in 10 minutes. I gotta climb. Uh, trailhead is just a bit down the road there. I'm going to get myself uh, finalized and together I spray a little permethrin on the gators. Uh, these Sherry washed these yesterday for me, and uh, I didn't permethrin them with everything uh, yesterday afternoon. So just get give them a quick little spray uh, to get me going today, and I'll shoot them again tonight with some uh, some uh, some more permethrin, a good coating, because it's tick season apparently. I'm gonna do all that, get my pack ready, and and hit the trail. So I'll see you when I find that first white blaze. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Sun's going to be out. Blue skies. Awesome. All right. Bye, Sherry. Bye, See you later. <laughs> There's a chance we'll lose our way But I've been searching for something real to keep And in my dreams I've got so much to say Out here on the road I've seen miracles unfold They show me what the singing's all about In harmony we'll find that sweet sunshine I've come so far, no telling where I'm bound Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Morning AT, glad to be back on trail. Had a wonderful time at trail days. Oh, let me say goodbye to Sherry. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> had a wonderful, wonderful time at Trail Days. Uh, really glad to be back out here. Looking forward to a great day on trail here. Uh, the AT comes out of the woods there, over the Big Stony Creek Bridge, across the road, uh, and back in right here. So we parked for overnight down at that parking lot right there. I'm not sure if you can see Sherry there or not. Um, the van's just tucked away behind the trees. Um, but it was a great night. I got myself some brand new shoes. Looking forward to getting these guys broken in properly. And uh, just enjoying the day. It is an absolutely beautiful day out here on trail. Um, I just passed Bailey Gap Shelter a little bit uh, back there. It's a small blue blaze off trail to get up to the shelter, so I didn't, uh, I didn't walk up. Uh, there were a few people getting ready to start their day, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to get up there and bother them. They were brushing their teeth and getting their packs done and everything. So, uh, but Bailey Gap Shelter was just back there a little ways, um, and I think I'm at the top of my climb for the day, the big climb, at least for the morning. I think there's another one in the afternoon. But anyway, I think I'm done with the morning one, and it was steep. It was pretty steep, uh, especially after having three full days off trail. Getting back into the groove is a little, um, a little different. You know, three days is the most I've ever taken off at one, at one stretch. So let me, uh, let me show you what's in front of me here. It's really gorgeous. All these ferns. Check this out. This is beautiful. And the sun's coming up. It's going to be an absolutely fabulous day. I read in some comments uh, on the app that we use for navigating. Uh, that there were a bunch of blowdowns on this section uh, that really slowed down the pace. And this looks like it might be one of them here. It's not terribly challenging, but it is a big, a big tree that's over the trail. So sticks have to go down and I've got to just basically sit on this thing to get over it. Let me swing a leg here. And as you can see, uh, you know, I'm small and short-legged, so 
this is like riding a bull here. I'm just <laughs> get, trying to get over that. And it's a little tall. It's uh, standing at it, it's, it's hip height. Uh, well, you can see at my trekking poles, it's, you know, it's pretty tall. So things like that just kind of break up your pace a little bit. And if there's too many of them, it really slows you down. Short little blue blaze trail here to Wind Rock with a view. I suspect it's going to be pretty cool. Oh, wow. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Couldn't pass this up on a day like today. It is not very windy and clear skies. Spectacular. Wow. This is really pretty walking through the fern forest here. There's been sections like this pretty much all morning so far. The trail is just surrounded by ferns. Beautiful. I'm on the first descent of the day here. Trails change from a little bit of a steep downhill to a really nice uh, switchback section. Whoa. Whoops. Uh, in about another mile and a half, there's a shelter. It's War Spur Shelter. I might stop there and have lunch. Uh, it's 10.20 right now, so a mile and a half should get me there sometime in the 11 o'clock hour. That'd be perfect time for a lunch break. But, uh, just a great day. Been under the, under the cover of the trees here for most of it. Not a lot of not a lot of view opportunity, except for that Winter Rock. That was pretty cool the way that opened up. Uh, trail's just kind of going through the woods today. Well, this is War Spur Shelter. Looks like a newer shelter. We have a bench, picnic table, steel fire ring. This is beautiful. Very nice. The privy is back here. Let's go have a look at that. Nice. It's clean. It's very clean. Doesn't smell too bad. By privy standards, it smells good. I hear water flowing in that direction. I'm going to assume the water source is that way. Looks like decent tenting options around in the back of there where the trees are, those some openings. Decent tenting options. Whoops. I'm gonna stay here and have my lunch. Uh, it is just now 11 o'clock. Made good time. And my lunch option is a buffalo chicken creation on a tortilla. That's what I'm going to do. And then I've got some bars for dessert. I'm in this low area, this little gap in between uh, hillsides or mountains to climb. And this is gorgeous. This is so beautiful. It's like I can see straight through the trees there into the forest for forever, for a long, long way, unobstructed, you know, it's not like it's a, it's a mountain right there. Like a flat, lowland area. The trail is really nice. It's just strange to not, uh, you know, look around you and see mountains, you know, or know that you're on a ridge and you're on a high point. It's strange to be at a low point and have it just be flat. It's really strange, actually. Bizarre. 
feels so much different. And I don't know that that makes any sense to you, but it does feel a lot different right here. I'm hiking through this forest of mountain laurels. This is really pretty. The trail just goes right, right in between them all. Right in between them. All these mountain laurels all around. The pink ones. Very beautiful. Just crossed over Route 601, which is Rocky Gap. Uh, and the climb up Bugs are crazy. The climb up from there was a long, steep, uh, like old wagon road. But I'm at the top now. Um, I'm about a mile away from Kelly Knob Overlook. I hear that's pretty. I hear that's pretty pretty. So uh, beautiful day like today. I think I'm gonna take the little point nothing blue blaze and and head out and have a peek. But this was the last climb, or that was the last climb of my day. Uh, it's pretty much uh, level across the top here uh, and then down. And I've got just a hair under six to go, like 5.7 or 5.8. I took the 100 yard side trail out here to Kelly Knob. Oh, well, huh. Geez, am I brave enough to jump that twice? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I'm pretty tired today. Shoot. That's a, I mean, that's a big span. That's, you know, usually a trekking pole length. Shoot. Well. Dang. And I'm not a fan of heights either. Still very pretty. Those rock formations are just phenomenal. Huh. Yeah, that's a that's a trekking pole length right there. That's a quite a span. Into my day when I'm already tired, I don't think I want to play with that twice. But it's pretty. Oh, this is nice. They've nailed some steps into this steep, potentially slippery rock. That's fantastic. Awesome. Beautiful creek here. Uh, I would assume this is Laurel Creek because we just passed the Laurel Creek shelter. A little blue blaze off the trail. That's cool. So up at Kelly Knob, after I shut the camera off, I stood there for a little bit and I considered, I considered jumping over that little gap in the rock there and checking out the view. But the, uh, the older and wiser me overruled the younger and more adventurous me and said, you know, if you're sitting here hesitating that much and thinking about it that much, it probably is not a good idea. So I did not do it. But man, I stood there and thought about it for a while. Looks like we have a pasture walk ahead of us. I forgot about this at the end of the day here. Uh, we, so, so we leave the woods. And we come out here to the open fields. I think there's almost two miles of this. Uh, and that's basically the end of my day too. It's just about two miles. Haven't had hardly any views today, just been completely in the trees. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what this looks like up ahead here. So we came out of the woods over there. The 
This is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So thankful for this gorgeous day. It was almost perfect weather to hike. I will say I am exhausted though. I am exhausted. After three days off, I'm pooped. I'm ready for the day to be done. Just under two to go, so. Can't wait to get my feet up and have something good to eat. Or not, like Doritos and honey buns. <laughs> Either one, but you know, something really good for me or just junk, I don't care. There is a squirrel sitting on that post, right there. It was in the shadow as I walked across the road and I thought, what is that up there? He's just sitting there. I'm super close. Are you gonna attack me? What are you doing? Do I have to pay a toll? I don't have anything for you. That's really funny. You're just hanging out. Do we have to know the password? There he goes. <laughs> that was funny. You're a funny squirrel. Oh wow, look what this opens up to. Oh, you guys, what a way to end my day. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, what a way to end my day. Wow. Wow. I just, I just can't believe I get to be out here and I get to do this stuff. Get to see these things firsthand. Wow. I am blown away by the beauty every single day. Every single day. That old barn is cool. Wow, that's really cool. Coming out of the meadows to Highway 42. I hear a car around the curve, so I'm gonna wait. And you go straight across. Okay, the road is down there. That's 42. We came out of the mountains here, that uh, first row of dark trees right there. There's a meadow on the other side of that. That's the first meadow that I walked through. Then I came through the trees and down to this front meadow here. Uh, let's, let's see, I think that's the roof of the barn right there, that, that old barn that we saw. Very cool, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. So glad to end my day like this. Nice, better walk with a view. We've had no views all day. I can get them right at the end. It's great. Look who met me point four before I got to the end of my day. <laughs> yeah, I came around a corner and I heard a, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> This is really pretty. Oh, wow. All right, the trail officially goes back in here. to, I think, where Sherry's parked. Let's see. Yep, there's the van. Sweet. This would be the end of my day. We're gonna do a tick check. Sherry had a tick on the back of her pants on the way up and I wanna make sure we don't drag anything inside. Oh, there's an old chimney. 
I read something about an old chimney. There's like bricks down here. Huh. Maybe this was an old homestead or something. Yeah, used to be here. Huh, neat. All right, end of the day, tick check. Yeah. It's 4.30 and I'm gonna just end the day right here. Uh, we've got the van parked where it's gonna be for the night. Uh, we've done our tick checks, which is amazing. Sherry found another one uh, in her shoe. So she had three on her. Uh, did, she did not permethrin any of her clothing or shoes. Uh, and I, I did, and I didn't have one on me. So that says a lot about the permethrin that I was out all day and then walked the same path of trail she did and she got some on her. So it says a lot about the permethrin for sure. Oh, we checked our hair and, and did all the things. So we're, we're good, uh, but we'll probably check again before we go to bed just because I did 19.4 today and uh, I thought it was 18, but I, like I said, the math was just screwy today for some reason. So 19.4 was my total. I'm gonna do two 26 mile days in a row. So tomorrow and Wednesday, and that'll get me past the whole triple crown area before the weekend. I'm ready for bed. Sherry's in there making me a shake, which is fantastic. It's warm and that's gonna taste so good. I have no idea what's for dinner, but whatever it is, is going to be amazing. So I'm going to end the day. Say good night. Thank you for following along and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I sure enjoyed those, uh, those last views of those meadows. That was wonderful. What a great way to end the day. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. We'll see you on trail tomorrow. Happy tear in my eye. Not ashamed of where I've been. I'm looking ahead now. I'm on the right road. Gonna outrun the rain, gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following my heart Gonna outrun the rain, gonna celebrate the changes On the highway of legends, it's written in the stars Gonna outrun the rain that I know sing songs of long ago they lift me up and point me on my way though I cannot see it with my eyes I trust within my heart so I let go and let the music rule the day gonna outrun the rain gonna throw away the pain I'm living right cause I'm following